we have discussed in detail the tests for the parameters of normal populations. Uh, I considered uh, one sample problems in which we considered the testing for the mean and variance of one normal population. Uh, we also considered uh, two normal populations and we considered various tests for comparing the means and also the variances. However, when we have the qualitative data, we may also be interested in testing for the proportions. So, here the basically the model is that we have x following binomial say n p distribution, where n is known. Now, when n is small, then we can consider test based on x. For example, I can call say let us define say capital P is equal to x by n. Suppose my hypothesis testing problem is say P is less than or equal to P naught against P is greater than P naught. Then we can consider the test as reject H naught if x is greater than some c, where probability of x greater than c when p is equal to p naught that is equal to alpha. Now, in this case what will happen is that it is not necessary that we will get exactly equal to alpha. So, we may need <coughs> we may need to randomize here. we may need to consider a randomized test as binomial distribution is discrete and there may not exist an integer c for which one will be satisfied. Now, when n is large, we can consider normal approximation we can consider x minus n p naught divided by square root n p naught q naught. Let us call it say b 1, when p is equal to p naught and n tends to infinity, then b 1 converges to z following normal 0 1 distribution. Therefore, we can for testing about uh, h 1 versus k 1 for example, this hypothesis we may consider test based on z alpha values that is reject h naught when b 1 is greater than z alpha h 1. Similarly, if I consider we may consider say h 2 that is p is greater than or equal to p naught versus k 2 p is less than p naught. Then test is reject h 2 if b 1 is less than minus z alpha. And if I consider the hypothesis p is equal to p naught against p is not equal to p naught then test is reject h 3 if modulus of b 1 is greater than or equal to z alpha by 2. Let me give a simple example. 
suppose in a random sample of 100 patients Seventy patients got successfully cured using a certain drug. Let P denote the overall proportion. of cured patients using this drug. We want to test say say H 1 P less than or equal to half against say K 1 P greater than half say or we may say P equal to half against P is greater than half. Suppose we want to test that the overall effectiveness is more than 50 percent. In that case, the test statistic will become you will have 70 minus 50 divided by root 100 half into half. So, that becomes 20 divided by 5 that is equal to 4. So, if I consider say alpha is equal to 0 0.05 or alpha is equal to point zero 0.01 etcetera. So, then we will see that z alpha by 2 for example, here it is 1.96 and so on. So, certainly here 4 is greater than 1.96. Similarly, at this one suppose I say point zero zero 0.005 then that is still higher value it is actually point uh, it is around 3 or something. So, 4 is greater than it is approximately 3 that is greater than this. So, we reject H 1 that is we may conclude that overall effectiveness of drug is more than 50 percent. Sometimes we may be interested in comparing two proportions that means we have say x following binomial m p 1 and y following binomial n p 2 and m and n are large. We may need to compare p 1 and p 2. So, we can consider hypothesis of the nature this or say h 3 h 2 say p 1 greater than or equal to p 2 against k 2 p 1 less than p 2 h 3 p 1 is equal to p 2 against k 3 p 1 is not equal to p 2. So, let us define say p 1 head is equal to say x by m p 2 head is equal to say y by n p head let us define to be x plus y by m plus n and let us define the statistic p 1 head minus p 2 head divided by square root of p head into 1 minus p head 1 by m plus 1 by n that is actually equal to root m n by m plus n p 1 head minus p 2 head divided by root p head into 1 minus p head. So, when P 1 is equal to P 2, then B 2 has asymptotically normal 
0 1 distribution. So, we can construct tests for H 1, H 2, H 3 etcetera based on B 2. For example, for H 1 versus K 1 the rejection region will be for Z greater than Z alpha, for H 2 versus K 2 the rejection region will be for Z less than minus Z alpha and for H 3 versus K 3 the rejection region will be for modulus Z greater than or equal to Z alpha by 2 if I am considering label alpha tests. Let me also consider another related topic. For example, here we are considering in the binomial two categories. So, for example, if I am considering one binomial then it is uh, p and then you have 1 minus p as the proportions of the two types. Here we are considering p 1 and p 2. Now, in general we can consider more categories. So, this gives actually rise to a test called goodness of fit tests and uh, since asymptotic distributions are chi square. So, the tests are based on that. So, we call them chi square tests for goodness of fit. Let me introduce the problem first. So, we want to test we want to test whether the sample comes from a known distribution say f naught x. In the previous problems in the usual parametric methods what we are considering is that we are assuming the form of the distribution like normal distribution, binomial distribution or I have also given the examples of say exponential distribution or a Poisson distribution, but there can be situations where we would like to test whether we will have a particular distribution say binomial distribution or a uniform distribution or a Poisson distribution etcetera. In that case we will say that the sample comes from a known distribution say f naught x. So, we want to test that. That means, if the unknown distribution if unknown distribution function is denoted by f x and f naught x is the desired C D f, then we want to test H naught f x is equal to f naught x for all x against say H 1 f x is not equal to f naught x at least for some x. So, that means, we are saying that alternative hypothesis is that f x is not f naught x. It could be some other distribution or it may not be a distribution. In the chi square test for goodness of fit, we consider we divide the range of the variable or distribution into say k mutually exclusive regions usually it will be intervals. Uh, I mentioned regions because suppose I am considering binomial distribution etcetera then you have values 0, 1, 2 n or you are considering Poisson then it is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, you will have infinite number of values, but then you can take a practical consideration by considering values by clubbing some of the values together and make it a finite number of. So, this k is finite. So, we divide the range of this that means, we are actually getting some k regions such as we can give some name here say 
r i s i is equal to 1 to k and uh, if we denote an observed random variable by x then assume that probability of x belonging to the region r i is some p i i is equal to 1 to k. Now, what we consider when the sample is observed when the sample is observed then each x i each observation belongs to one of regions r i i is equal to 1 to k. Let us denote the observed frequencies of region r i by o i for i is equal to 1 to k. So, now we consider suppose n observations are there we use uh, denote the expected frequency of i th region by e i that is equal to n times p i. So, what we do we construct sigma o i minus e i square by e i i is equal to 1 to k. This has let us call it w then this has approximately chi square distribution on k minus 1 degrees of freedom. So, we can use test for h naught versus h 1 as reject h naught if w is greater than chi square k minus 1 alpha. Let us consider an example here. It is assumed that students preferences for various disciplines are uniformly distributed. So, let there be 5 options say C S E C E E M E and C H and let the preference probabilities of these options be say P 1, P 2, P 3, P 4 and P 5 respectively. then we want to test that is p i is equal to 1 by 5 for i is equal to 1 to 5 against not so. That means, we are assuming a discrete uniform distribution for the preferences. Then uh, a random sample of 
say 300 students was taken and their preferences recorded as below. So, here we have the branches and the observed frequency O i is is given by eighty eight sixty five fifty two fifty five and forty. So we want to test whether the preferences are uniformly distributed or not. So, we consider here E i's, E i's are the probabilities of each group. So, here you notice that uh, the expected frequency of each group. So, if uh, total number is 300, we are assigning probability 1 by 5 to each group. So, the expected frequency will be 60. So, we consider here w that is equal to sigma o i square minus o i minus e i square by e i i is equal to 1 to n uh, 1 to k. This is also having an alternative representation. If I expand this numerator, I get o i square plus e i square minus 2 o i e i divided by e i that is equal to sigma o i square by e i plus sigma e i minus twice sigma o i that is equal to sigma o i square by e i plus minus n because sigma e i and sigma o i both is equal to the total sample size. So, this is an alternative formula for this. So, we calculate here by 60 minus 300. So, you can uh, do the calculations it turns out it is equal to 21.6. Now, there are here 5 groups. So, we need to look at the chi square value on 4 degrees of freedom. For example, we may consider say at point 0 1 level then it is 13.28 suppose we consider chi square value at say 0 0.05 then it is equal to 9.49. So, you can easily see that H naught is rejected that is a students preferences are biased towards different disciplines. In this particular case, I assumed that F naught is completely known. If F naught is not completely known, is not completely known, For example, it may contain, for example, I say it is binomial distribution, then there will be an unknown parameter p which has to be estimated. Suppose we say it is a Poisson distribution, then the parameter lambda has to be estimated. Suppose we say it is normal mu sigma square distribution, then mu and sigma square have to be tested, uh, to have, have to be estimated first and then they have to be used in the calculation of the expected frequencies. In that case, the degrees of freedom of the chi square will be reduced by the number of unknown parameters that have to be estimated from the sample. 
so it may contain unknown parameters say theta is equal to theta 1 theta 2 theta n in such cases we have to estimate from the sample consequently the asymptotic distribution of w will be chi square k minus m minus 1 let us take one example here thirty randomly selected documents of equal size are taken and the number of typographical errors in them are recorded. The data is summarized below. So, if I make a frequency table number of errors, so it is recorded like this 0, 1, then 2 or 3 errors, 4 or 5 errors and more than 5 errors. Then number of documents who had no errors it was found to be 6, number of documents which had 1 error were 5, number of documents which had 2 or 3 errors was 8, number of documents which had 4 or 5 errors were 6 and the number of documents which had more than 5 errors were 5. We want to test whether a Poisson distribution appropriately fits the data. because here it is the number of counts, errors are counts. So, the data on number of errors. Now, naturally if we assume say, so we have to assume a Poisson lambda distribution, assume x that is the number of errors follows Poisson lambda distribution. Then this lambda has to be estimated first from the given data. So, we consider this, we will first estimate lambda. So, we may consider say maximum likelihood estimate or UMBUE or the method of moments estimator. In the case of Poisson distribution all of them are the same, it is simply x bar. So, here you can see it will be equal to simply 95 by 30 that is equal to 3.1667. Now, based on this, we have distribution written as e to the power minus let us call it x bar x bar to the power k divided by k factorial that is the probability of x is equal to k. So, now for example, what is probability of x is equal to 0? 
see these are the groups here <coughs> like i mentioned here in the very first this one that we divide into <coughs> k mutually exclusive regions here so k mutually exclusive regions here will correspond to this is region 1 this is region 2 this is region 3 this is region 4 and this is region 5 here so what is the probability of region 1 that is probability of region 1 what is the probability that x belongs to region 1 this is my p1 so that is equal to e to the power minus x bar which of course can be calculated to be 0.04214 similarly we can calculate p2 that is probability of x is equal to 1 that is the probability of region 2 that is equal to x bar into e to the power minus x bar one can evaluate it turns out to be 0.13346 now p3 will be the probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x equal to 3 that is the probability of third region that is equal to x bar square e to the power minus x bar by 2 factorial plus x bar cube e to the power minus x bar by 3 factorial that is equal to 0.4343 etc similarly probability x equal to p4 that is equal to x equal to 4 plus probability x equal to 5 that is the probability of fourth region so that will be turning out to be point 28841 that is probability x equal to 5 that is the probability of fifth region that is equal to 0.10164 now based on this we can calculate eis or nothing but npi that is equal to 30 times pi i is equal to 1 to 5 and we calculate then so this i can call p1 head p2 head p3 head p4 head because these are the estimates of the probabilities of this regions these are the estimates here so we calculate w that will be equal to sigma oi square by ei minus n that is equal to 21.99 now chi square value you can see so how many degrees of freedom will be there we have five classes and one parameter has been estimated so it will be 3 so one can easily check the values at some particular level of significance for example even at 0.005 it is 12.838 so h not is rejected that is the error count do not fit a poisson distribution let me give one more example where poisson distribution will actually fit the given data the following data represents the frequency count of violent crimes reported in a month for 200 randomly selected districts across a country so number of 
violent crimes and we are clubbing 0 1 2 3 4 and more than or equal to 5. So, again we will like to test whether it is a Poisson distribution or not number of towns that is the frequency. So, 22, 53, 58, 39, 20 and 8. So, we want to test whether the crime count data fits a Poisson distribution. So, once again you can check here that x bar is approximately 2, it will be 2 point something. So, I am just writing 2 here because that is sufficient for our purposes and we calculate the expected frequencies. Expected frequencies will become 27, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2, 54.2
columns we call that o dot 1 o dot 2 and so on o dot c the total sum is n so we have the following notations observed frequency of i j th cell is denoted by o i j and then we define o i dot that is equal to sigma o i j for j is equal to 1 to c 1 by so simply the summations and similarly o dot j that is equal to sigma o i j i is equal to 1 to r these are the row and column totals then if we are assuming that the two things are independent there will be a theoretical probability of assume theoretical probabilities of i j th cell to be pi i j then the marginal probabilities of i th row is pi i dot that is equal to sigma pi i j sum over j and of j th column it is pi dot j that is equal to sigma pi i j sum over i. If the row and columns are independent, then we must have pi i j is equal to pi i dot into pi dot j. So, we calculate the expected frequency of i j th cell using this assumption. So, that is i j is equal to o i dot into o dot j divided by n. Here capital N is actually the sum of all the frequencies. So, if I use this then we get let us call it w star that is equal to double summation o i j minus e i j square divided by E i j this has asymptotically chi square r minus 1 c minus 1 distribution. So, we will reject the hypothesis of independence if w star is greater than chi square r minus 1 c minus 1 alpha. Let me give one application here. the following data represents the number of accidents taking place in three shifts 
of four factories producing an item. The data is recorded for a year. So, we want to test whether the incidence of accidents is independent. That means, whether in a particular factory a particular shift has more accidents or less. So, independent of type of factories and shifts. So, the data is recorded in this particular fashion. Suppose, we have four factories A, B, C, D and the data is recorded over shift 1, shift 2 and shift 3. That is 10, 10, 13, 12, 24, 20, 6, 9, 7, 7, 10, 10. If we consider the totals, this is 33, this is 56, 22 and 27 and on this side if we consider the row totals, it is 35, 53, 50, the total n is equal to 138. So, we calculate for example, what will be E 1 1? E 1 1 will be 33 into 35 by 138. Similarly, suppose I consider say E 2 3. So, E 2 3 will be 22 into 53 by 138 etcetera. So, we calculate the W star that is turning out to be here 1.81 approximately. Now, if I consider chi square on 2 into 3 that is 6 degrees of freedom at a particular level say 0 0.05 then it is 12.59. So, we can say that that shifts and factories are independent with respect to occurrence of accidents. You can say that the incidence of accidents are homogeneous across the factories. Uh, let us take one or two more applications of the testing and these problems. seasons a professional player of some game we may consider for example, a basketball player exactly 5 minutes in about 200 games. So, x i is the number of say hits 
he makes in game i i is equal to 1 to 200. So, each x i can take value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, we have the following data value of x i is say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and number of x i is say 73, 82, 38, 7, 0. We want to test whether a binomial distribution will fit the data. Now, in a binomial distribution, we have a parameter p here. So, let us consider say p head. Based on this data, we can calculate actually. So, p 1 that is probability x equal to 0 that is equal to 1 minus p to the power 4, p 2 that is probability x equal to 1 that is equal to 4 p into 1 minus p cube, p 3 that is equal to probability x equal to 2 that is equal to 6 p square into 1 minus p square, p 4 that is probability x equal to 4 x equal to 3 that is equal to 4 p cube into 1 minus p and p 5 is equal to probability x equal to 4 that is equal to p to the power 4. So, we have the likelihood function that is 200 factorial divided by 73 factorial, 82 factorial, 38 factorial, 7 factorial, 0 factorial into 1 minus p to the power 4 to the power 73. 4 p into 1 minus p cube to the power 82 p to the power 4 to the power 0 into 6 p square into 1 minus p square to the power 38 into 4 p cube into 1 minus p to the power 7. So, this can be simplified L head p is L p is maximized when p is equal to 0.224. So, based on this we can calculate p 1 head that is 0.363, p 2 head is equal to 0.419 p 3 head is equal to 0 0.181, p 4 head is equal to 0 0.035, p 5 head is equal to 0 0.003 etcetera. So, if we calculate this, calculate the chi square value here that is equal to 0 0.178 approximately. So, if we compare with chi square value on here we have 5 categories and one parameter has been estimated. So, you will have it on 4 degrees of freedom and one can see this. I will give one application of the general testing problem which we discussed for the normal populations. Testing example for normal populations. The summary data is given by, so we have two samples for two types of elements presence in the bones of children and uh, then the following data is collected n 1 is 121, x 1 bar is equal to 2.6, s 1 square is equal to 1.44, n 2 is equal to 61, x 2 bar is equal to 0 0.4, s 2 square is equal to 0 0.0121. We want to test whether the two normal populations have 
similar means or variances. So, if we calculate this, firstly we test to test equality of means, we need to firstly test the equality of variances. So, that means, we test say h naught sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square against h 1 sigma 1 square not equal to sigma 2 square. So, let us calculate the statistic s 1 square by s 2 square and it turns out to be 119.00 approximately. So, if I consider say f on 120 60 degrees of freedom, then the values say at point 0.1 that will be say 1.34 etcetera. So, this is certainly larger. So, h naught is rejected, h naught is rejected. So, now I consider say mu 1 is equal to mu 2 against say mu 1 is greater than mu 2. Then we formulate the test statistic x 1 bar minus x 2 bar divided by s 1 square by n 1 plus s 2 square by n 2 that is 20 point approximately 0. If I consider the degrees of freedom of this t here that is turning out to be approximately 123. So, certainly h naught star is rejected. So, here for testing the equality of the means which procedure is to be used because I discussed four different procedures. Firstly, we need to check about the variance. Now, for the variance here it turns out that it is rejected here and therefore, we have followed this procedure. If it was accepted then we have to follow another one which was based on the pooling procedure. So, depending upon what actual method will be used then only you apply the testing methodology. Uh, we have discussed uh, some of the important parametric methods, there are many more, but uh, in this particular course I will restrict attention to this. Uh, in the following lectures I will move over to multivariate analysis. So, we will have elementary discussion of the multivariate normal distribution and then the related distributions and how they are used for certain cal calculations or computations or inferences when you have multivariate data. So, in the following lectures we will take up that.